Namaste. Now I'm going to tell you about Chakrasan. Chakrasan is the most beneficial asan. In this, we have seven chakras are going to get activated when you practice this asana. And now I suggest you to practice this asana in everyday life to just get activated by the seven chakras which runs your body, which runs the show of the human nature. And now we have seven chakras placing the top, at the top Sahasrara and at the middle of the eyebrows Agnya and at the throat level Visuddhi Chakra and in between the chest we have Anahata Chakra and which is called a heart chakra also and at the navel point we have Manipura Chakra and at the lower abdomen we have Swadhisthana Chakra and at the anal point we have Muladhara Chakra. Muladhara Chakra is a root chakra which runs our whole body and uh, skeletal system. It is the end of the skeletal system. Now I am going to tell you how to practice this Chakrasan. Now lie on your supine. Just set yourself properly. Place the hands side by your thighs, palms facing down. Now take a deep inhalation and exhalation. Relax your whole body once. Now take your right foot and left foot placing near the buttocks. I am telling this chakrasan for the beginners. They have to practice initially like this until you get set properly doing this. You will be having a benefit of doing the chakrasan posture at the senior level. Now, play palms at the side of your buttocks and toes. Now, while inhaling, slowly rise your chest, hips, buttocks. Don't raise your head. Don't touch your head to the chest. Now exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. This gives a movement of your lower abdomen muscles. It loosens all the muscles from inside. So you will have a flexi movement to do the Purna Chakrasan. Now I am going to tell you about the chakrasan. Just straighten your legs and let them relax. Now take the both the foot place the feet near the buttocks. Now take your palms side by your shoulders under the shoulders and facing the fingers towards the body and now slowly while inhaling raise your buttocks, raise your hips, raise your upper body and hang your head down and keep breathing. All the posture don't bend your knees, look down. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, while exhaling, slowly go down. Put your head down, shoulders down, hips down, buttocks down, and arms to the back position and legs to the back position. Now, take a deep inhalation and exhale. Just relax your body and repeat doing chakrasan for another round and balance your body and maintain the posture for more than 10 seconds. Now after releasing the posture slowly turn to your left side and try to get up and sit. Come back to the normal position and now I am going to tell you the benefits of this chakrasan. And it stimulates the cardiovascular system and at the same time it is very good and preferable for the travelers, artists and children to practice this asana and it gives really very good benefits when they practice this. And now coming to the point, the spine will get 
very good flexibility and it is a uh, very good uh, fat burner at the back and the shoulders and now it strengthens all the nervous system while practicing this asana and the people who have weakness really they are ill or weak wrist they are not supposed to practice this asana and the people who are pregnant also not supposed to practice this asana i suggest sincerely you to take the guidance of the expert to just practice this asana and get all the benefits and get activated all the chakras in your body while practicing this asana and enjoy the benefits of it thank you